Welcome to Around BI. In this tutorial, we will walk through different types of fact. In previous tutorial on dimension and fact, we had talked about definitions. We got the idea that fact is a numeric entity that tells about business numbers. We dive into our retail sales business process example and got acquainted with some facts. Now let's use the same example to understand what are different types of facts. In our retail sales, for every transaction, we gather date, store name, product, transaction number, quantity, unit price and sales amount. Out of all these data points, transaction number, quantity, unit price and sales amount are numeric entities. And in our tutorial on degenerate dimension, we concluded that transaction number is a dimension value. Rest three numeric fields, quantity, unit price and sales amount are fact in our case. Let's start from there. I am picking just 10 records for demonstration. Our basic expectation from facts is to do computation to find business numbers. For example, if I check the data set for transaction number 1001, it tells about business value happened on March 5th for store Miami. Value for quantity sold is 10. With the data available, can I find out what is total number of products sold from store Miami? My answer would be yes. The data set is allowing us to find out total number of sold products for store Miami if we just add up quantity sold for this store group. Here I can safely say that quantity sold that is a fact can be summed up or can be aggregated for store dimension. That means aggregation is a nature or property of facts. This nature of aggregation of facts for dimensions divides facts into three groups that we can call three different fact types. If fact can be summed up for all dimensions in table like how quantity sold is aggregated for store dimension, then it is called additive fact. If it can be summed up for some dimensions in table but not for all, then it is semi-additive fact. And if it cannot be summed up for any of the dimensions present in the table, then it is non-additive fact. Let's take example of quantity sold. We can aggregate it to find total number of sold products for each store or for each product or for each time dimension. Clearly it is an example of additive fact as it can be aggregated against all dimensions present in table. In data warehouse structure, additive facts are the most flexible and useful facts because they can be summed across any of the dimensions associated with the fact table. Henceforth, they become very helpful in using business data. Sales amount is another additive fact in our structure. Before moving to next topic, let's modify our table fields. We will add few more data points. I am pulling quantity on hand that tells how much inventory is available in store and sales tax on transaction that is fixed to 5%. Both new fields are numeric and are facts. Let's talk about quantity on hand first. After every transaction, it tells number of products available in that store. It is very valuable information because it helps to keep optimum inventory in each store. If we check additive nature of this fact, it can easily be summarized across products or stores and tells a total number. However, it is not additive across dates because it denotes snapshots of a level or balance at one point of time. We can check that on March 5th, quantity in hand was 50 for product A in Miami store. On March 6th, it was 30. So total inventory was 50 plus 30, 80 at the end of two days. But adding up these numbers does not provide any business significance with date dimension. More helpful way is to get average of inventory that is 80 by 2, uh, 40 for two days. This average number seems more meaningful when we have a process to keep a fixed minimum inventory per day. Since quantity in hand is additive across some dimensions, but not all, we can call it as semi-additive fact. Similar example come from banking domain where we get our bank statement that tells average balance in our account for certain days. Usually facts that gather a static level, for example, quantity in hand, bank account balance, number of patients in a hospital facility. So uh, semi-additive behavior. They are not additive towards dates, but may be additive towards other dimensions. Our third type of fact is non-additive fact that cannot be aggregated towards any dimension in table. If we look at sales tax value that is 5% across all products, all stores, combining 5% for Miami will give 25%. Uh, that will be incorrect to apply on sales amount. Same way it cannot be aggregated for any product or date. So it is a good example of non-additive fact. Other fact in our example is unit price that also cannot be summarized along any dimension. Even averaging of unit price is also meaningless and we cannot take any conclusion based on average unit price. So it is also a example of non-additive fact. 
Other good examples of non-additive facts are percentage and ratios. Summing a percentage or ratio along any dimension is pointless in business terms. With this, we will conclude this tutorial. We have talked about types of facts that is based on aggregation behavior of facts towards dimensions. Please feel free to share your feedback and comments. Thanks for watching.